Hi, Gabby from Race Studios here, and today I'm going to be talking about the 5D Mark II. Now, why I talk about this old camera? Well, the idea is to, to talk about is, is this camera still relevant in 2018? And it is a very old camera, it is almost like 10 years old. Um, most people now count it out. It's like, you know, it's like, it's not worth to have this camera anymore because it's too old. But you couldn't be any more wrong. As a matter of fact, I have a Sony a6300, Sony a7R Mark II, and, and this camera. And guess what I choose most of the time, for pictures at least. And definitely I go to this camera because there are certain things this camera do that all these new technological high upgrades cameras like the a7s of Sony's and the, the a6000s of Sony, they, they can do what this does. Um, I'm going to talk about this. The first thing to remark about this camera, if, if you are on a budget and you're thinking buying a second-hand camera and you see all this hype that the Sony cameras have and you think, okay, Canon, Canon is dead, Canon is on its way out, and it's actually not. You, you got to think about that. This camera, you can find it as low as $500. That's what I pay for it. $500. I used to have it before and I paid a lot of money, then I sold it, then I bought the A7R Mark II and now I go back to it. And so you can find it as low as $500. You can also pay as much as $1,000 for like mint condition cans 5D Mark II. But either way, 5D Mark II now is cheap. It's very, very affordable. You're thinking about buying a second hand camera? That might be the one. Uh, some of the things that I, I want to talk about this that some other cameras may not be able to do, like the, the newer cameras or like all these mirrorless, they're, they're very hype right now. And, First is optical viewfinder, a full frame or close to, uh, to full coverage. Um, and that, that, is, that is just beautiful to see through this optical viewfinder. You can like really connect with your subjects. Unlike the, the electronic viewfinder that you get in these modern cameras, it, it have a completely different feeling. And being a photographer for many years and switching, fully switching to mirrorless, not too long ago, like a couple of years, and now going back to this, and I get to appreciate it even more. It's beautiful when you put your eye there and, and, and you see scenes like that really looks in real life. It's not like, like an electronic little computer, little TV that you look in, in your viewfinder, in your newer camera, right? So that's first thing. Um, another thing is the grip. I know that people say that the A7s are super small and tiny and lightweight, and, but I get back to this and I know it's heavy, it's big, but this grip, at least for me that I have big hands, I have pretty big hands and this is a grip, man. I mean, this is like, I grab this camera and I feel like I'm grabbing a camera, you know? And I also, when I grab this camera, I'm not afraid to, to drop it or put it on the table like careless, doing something like that. With my Sony cameras, I, I treat them like little babies. They look fragile and they probably are fragile. Uh, this camera is tough. This is not gonna break anytime soon, I mean, this probably have a few years already, <laughs> it's not breaking. So this is a very durable camera. Even if you buy a second hand, it will probably still last you a very long time. Another thing that all these new cameras, I don't like that much. I know they have the swipeable screen, all my Sony cameras. This one doesn't, but the screen is very sharp, quite big, and I like the colors on it. Let's see if I can turn it around. Maybe try to show you something. So the, the screen looks good. The screen looks very good. Whatever is it that, that you have in your screen will look pretty good. It's a big screen, bigger than the A7R Mark II. And that's another advantage. The other advantage is you don't only have a screen, but you have a little LCD screen with all the information here. So as you're shooting picture, you look at your model, look down, the information is right here, and you know what to change from this LCD screen without having to stick your eye into, into the electronic viewfinder or looking at the screen all the time. I think that looking at the screen all the time, is, is, it can make your eyes tired. So looking at this LCD sometimes could be more relaxing as you are more into the, the, your environment. So you're not like all the time looking at, at a screen. So that could be another little advantage there. Um, another thing that I like about this camera, that if you're shooting video, it's not my, my go-to video camera, even so you can shoot some nice video. There are like a lot of short frames and even music videos shoot in this camera a few years ago, so don't count it down for, for video as well, but it is a camera that uh, basically uh, have these things here, 
while the Sony cameras have this little scene that you cannot attach anything, I have like these key rings that they make noise, so you need to take them out. So this scene if, if is better. I don't know how can Sony never fix this kind of scene. So this, this scene to put the straps, they're big and they don't move, they're fixed. That's the way to go. I don't know how Sony keep making cameras and doing the same mistake over and over, have this little key ring that you shake them and they make noise. So that's another scene there, advantage for the Canon. Another great scene of this camera is when you remove the lens, obviously there is a mirror, but the mirror what it does is protecting the, the is protecting the sensor. When you take a lens on the on the Sony camera, the sensor is exposed. So every time you're changing lenses, it's kind of like I, I'm not so afraid to change lenses with this camera as I am when I change lenses on my Sony cameras because the sensor is really close, like almost outside and very exposed and there is nothing covering that sensor. And I, more often than not, I get a lot of dust every time I change lenses. So I have to travel with a rocket blower and always cleaning the, lens, the, the, the sensor on the camera while in this one, I'm not so worried about it. I don't even carry a, a rocket blower when I change lens on this camera. It's, that's a completely different scene. Okay, uh, and another scene with this camera, maybe the most important, I would say this is a huge difference between this and any Sony camera out there now that everybody's hyping Sony cameras. And don't get me wrong, I have two Sony cameras. I spend a lot of money in Sony cameras and I have like 20 lenses for Sony. But that being say, the colors on this camera, they're unbeatable. Nothing beats the color of the Canon camera especially Sony's. Forget Sony versus Canon, it's not even a fair competition right there. Uh, Canon color science is way ahead and this is something you need to think about that uh, because when you shoot pictures, and you shoot in black and white, colors are very important. It's the way your picture is gonna look like. And if your colors are off, but the picture is gonna look off, it's gonna look bad. And with Canon cameras, especially 5D Mark II, you have this beautiful colors. This camera was made at the time when colors were really important. It wasn't about megapixel cone, it wasn't about sharpness, it was about colors. So the colors on this camera is unbeatable. They're fantastic. So I think if you're in the market for a second hand camera and of course you're gonna be like every people is telling you oh man the Sony cameras are amazing because this and that and that and you could still consider something like this, a Canon 5D Mark II. This has been used by professionals for many years. Still some professionals still use it. I still use it every now and then. And I highly recommend this camera as a second hand camera, full frame, that it could get you professional results, that's for sure. Um, that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, the little hand pointing up with the thumb and the red button that says subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And till next time.